Hello everyone, it's Dada from Trade Guardian. I hope you're doing really, really well. Hope you all had a nice holiday. Now, on today's one, we're going to use a very kind of famous strategy for our trading robot. And we're going to create our robot from scratch using this magnificent platform FX Dreamer. For those of you who don't know it, just go to fxdreamer.com and choose the free version. Now, uh, let me explain the strategy for the robot. There, there are two rules for it. MA, moving average, period 9, should cross above MA, moving average, period 21, both moving averages need to be smoothed, and then ADX, period 14, needs to cross the level of 22. Now, if you don't understand any of this, if you're new to it, like I said, just look up ADX. It's another indicator. And moving average, you should know by now. But the moving average we're using today is going to be smoothed. Not exponential and not simple, but smoothed. And there is a good reason for it. Okay, so where do we start? We are on this page here. And mind, the page we're on is on tick. It's essential. You need to be on tick. First things, our robot needs to check whether there is already a trade going on or not. So, And this is where we start. So let's go and start there. This tab here says check trades, etc. So we need no trade to make sure there is no trade already going on. And that's the first module. After this, we need our conditions. Remember, moving average 9 should cross above moving average 21 and ADX period 14 should cross above level 22 so our first condition and you get it from here from the tab says conditional formula first condition drag it over here connect it to this as we should it's real simple double click on it and let's choose our moving averages so this here is already set on moving average, so we don't need to change anything. When you load the condition, it actually appears already on a moving average because it's such a popular indicator. Now, let's start changing things. We need period 9, and instead of simple here, we need smoothed. And it needs to cross above, don't just be above, but actually cross above. And that's how we choose that. Another moving average, which is already selected, as you can see, period 21, and also smoothed instead of simple. And that's our first buying condition. Click Update, Updated. Now we need to add another ADX indicator for our conditions to be complete. That's all we need for this robot. So connecting this from the orange bit to the top, so I just connected condition number one to our next condition number two. Double click and instead of moving average here, we need to choose ADX or Average Directional Movement Index, as you can see there. Click, loaded. Now everything's set already as we need on this side of it because it's period 14 and it it reacts to the close price, the close of the candle. Now we need to cross above. Not just be above, not that one, but cross above. And instead of indicator here, now we choose a value. Because we need it to cross above value 22. Let's type in 22. And this is, and obviously click update, and this is our buying conditions absolutely complete. Now the genius of FX Dreamer, this package we're using, is that now I'm going to select both of these buying conditions, right click and choose copy, right click again somewhere else like here and choose paste so I don't need to create them from scratch again. Makes sense. But obviously we're going to change these conditions because these are going to be now our selling conditions. Right, drag it over here. From the same output, this is very important again, you drag this orange from no trade and connect to the top of first condition. Now, let's change the first condition. In this case, smoothed moving average 9 should cross below 
and everything else is set just needs to cross below 21 and then that's your first selling condition update and the second condition we don't need to change anything whether we're buying or whether we're selling this indicator ADX should cross above the level of 22 for those of you who don't know what ADX is ADX basically measures the strength of a move and 22 in our case is enough by the way this robot are we designing it to run on one hour chart one hour or four hour but not less um, right update and this is uh, both buy conditions here and sell conditions complete now we need to actually perform buying and selling and for that we go buy sell here and choose buy now for buy and we also choose sell now for sell now we connect this last buying condition to the top of buy now like so double click go into it and the rest of it is history you can leave it as fixed volume here and in that case in your robot you'll be able to tick in this box you'll be able to input your uh, amount lot size but you can also choose percentage of equity because it's a robot so you don't have to manage it yourself you can choose percentage of equity which is my preferred way of uh, sizing the lots for trade and then instead of a hundred let's say 1000 is a very good risk management so basically what this will do when it's opening a buy trade or a sell trade it will look at your equity on your balance not the balance but the equity the usable amount and it will take that much percentage per trade and that's a very clever way of uh, doing it now moving on this is our stop loss and this is our take profit for this particular strategy we need a stop loss of 45 pips um, to explain it's big enough for little wiggle you know market sometimes wiggles around so it's big enough for that but it's also not too big enough for our strategy it's remember it's a one hour chart so it's kind of calculated well calculated and our take profit here will be 90 so as you probably already guessed our winning ratio is going to be 1 to 2 which is a very good winning ratio but you don't you don't need to really agree with all of this we we will have I'll show you we will have ways of changing that anytime you want to because after this we are going to move on to our trailing stop and that really is our final block so okay we define the buying in this buy now module now we're connecting the last of the sell conditions to the top of sell now module double click and do the same instead of fixed volume percentage of equity and 1000 to me is a good amount of risk click next to it so we can change it anytime we want to by the way when we're clicking these little boxes that means these fields will be editable in our robot so it's very very handy to tick them now our stop loss again is going to be 45 pips initial initial stop loss and I will explain why tick this so we can change it later and our take profit 90 double the size of a stop loss take this of course to make it editable manually enterable into our robot update this is all done we have the buy conditions here followed by buy and sell conditions here followed by sell now we need a trailing stop and for that we go down here trailing stop etc and we choose trailing stop each trade and we drag it up there and see this yellow connector that we haven't used on no trade the first module now we're using this yellow connector and connecting it to the top of the trailing stop module and this is complete apart from we need to edit double click and edit the trailing stop our stop loss initial again would be like in our buying module here would be the same 45 pips but tick this box to make it editable 
uh, a trailing step we leave it at zero but ticking this makes it editable so that's good and now the clever bit here from this options we would choose pips offset from the open price and let me explain what this means it's a clever trick when you're using a trailing stop if we put pips offset like it is here 10 pips like it is here that means that only when your trade goes 10 pips into profit only then your stop will start trailing so you can put in your amount here for now we need to leave it at zero because that's how our strategy works but it's editable by clicking this box it will be editable in your robot that's it people done our robot is ready to trade um, and ready to be tested don't forget don't just go and trade it on any account test it first on a demo or test it in your strategy tester on MetaTrader it's, uh, it just gives you peace of mind when you see how it works and then you know what to expect from it goes without saying right and the last step now we export this MQ4 here and it will load in the MQL editor that comes with the MetaTrader and here it is and here's our code finished version of a robot and from here you just save it and compile it compile is there and it'll be ready for you well I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial the strategy is really really cool it really really works and let's see how it works for you remember test it first and bye for now